started this evening, I'd like to welcome Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Mr. Dreyer is the chairman of the Signature Healthcare Board of Trustees, and he has our welcoming address. Thank you, Pete. Good afternoon. On behalf of the board, it's my pleasure to welcome all the graduates, their families, and friends to celebrate this special occasion. By the way, I just have to comment. I love the fact that everybody's with their families. This is cool. You know, normally it's the nurses are off on their own, and this is really cool having them all together. Um, to the graduate, the board would, thank, would like to thank you for attending our institution and would like to extend our sincerest, sincerest congratulations. We have extreme pride in your accomplishments. This is my fourth year having the privilege of coming to witness the graduation. And, and it's just, it's an exciting day. I love it, I look forward to it all year. And in all honesty, it's one of the highlights of being the chairman of the board here. Um, <clears throat> the reason I serve on the board, frankly, is because of nurses. So I was asked to uh, s serve on the board several years ago, I think it was 2007. And I thought about it for a little bit and, and I decided, you know what, there's no better organization to do it. My, both of my children were born here um, I, I've been coming here for, to the hospital for years, and, and the reason I chose to do it was just all the fond memories of when we were having kids, and it was the nurses that gave you all the support, did everything you know, for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, the doctors came in, they did their job, but, and they did it well, but it was the nurses that you really felt compassion for you know, and with. And so you know, when we left, I remember my wife and I, we sent, um, we sent some flowers and we sent some lunch to the to the nurses, but you know, the point is, and by the way, I'm a little bit older now and uh, turned 50 a year or two ago, and I, now I get to come in for different procedures, and, uh, and I will tell you the nurses are, are just as supportive, and so really the reason I stand before you is because of nurses. So I congratulate you for going into an awesome profession, and I thank you. What I would say is, as you enter the front lines of our nation's healthcare system, Remember that your potential is limitless. You will face no shortage of challenges, but you will be equipped to meet them. Have confidence in your ability because you've been taught well. For the family and friends here this evening, we thank you for the dedication to the students. Without you, the crowd would be much smaller today. I'd also like to thank our internal staff for the fine work they're doing in fostering our school's mission you perform an invaluable service to our community. Thank you. And then lastly, I'd like to thank our president and CEO, Mr. Kim Holland. Kim is retiring at the end of this year. His leadership and commitment to quality and safety has taken Signature Healthcare on a journey, a journey continually to continually better itself. He's never satisfied with the status quo. His focus on quality and safety influences every decision we make, and I thank him for that. Frankly, the, the, the Yawkey partnership that helped us construct this building right here, the nursing center in front of us, would not have happened without his efforts. Your legacy exists in all of the accolades we've received over the years, so thank you. And again, welcome, and I look forward to enjoying this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Next, please help me welcome to the stage uh, Dr. Susan Taylor. Dr. Taylor is our Associate Dean here at the School of Nursing. We are honored to have her here with us tonight, and she is going to relate for us the story behind the pin that you are about to receive and have worked so hard to earn. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Taylor. Welcome to the Brockton Hospital School of Nursing 2021 pinning and graduation ceremony. I would like to extend a special welcome to the chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Joe Dreyer, President and CEO, Kim Holland, Chief Nurse Officer, Kim Walsh, who is with us in spirit, all from Signature Healthcare, Fisher College President, Steve Rich, Robert Melarani, who is the Vice President of Enrollment Management, Program Director Carol Wilcox, all from Fisher College, Dean Jean Gouveia, our SON faculty, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, the class of 2021. 
Yes, woohoo, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> the awarding of our pin marks a momentous occasion in your professional nursing career. All of our students have worked very hard to achieve this goal, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you on your accomplishment. As you look back on your educational experience at the school, I hope that you will fondly remember your classmates, faculty, staff, administrators, and the patients you have encountered. We also need to acknowledge the support that your loved ones have offered you over the course of the program. I would ask that each of our graduates now rise and join me in applauding and recognizing the contribution of your family and friends. Thank you. You may be seated. According to an article in RN Magazine, pinning began when medals were given to outstanding graduates of nursing education programs. Gradually, the ritual expanded to include the pinning of all graduates to signify successful completion of their nursing education. Each nursing school has its own distinctive pin, which is designed to reflect the values of that particular institution. Bellevue Hospital in New York City was the first nursing school in the country, was established in 1873, and founded on the principles set forth by Florence Nightingale. Bellevue awarded its nursing pin to graduates, and the Bellevue pin was designed by the Tiffany Jewelry Company. The pin portrayed a tall bird, the crane, in the center of the pin, representing vigilance. The crane was surrounded by a wreath of poppies, signifying the role of nurses in allaying pain and bringing rest to the suffering. The unbroken circle of blue around the edges of the pin represented constancy. As you are aware, our School of Nursing was established in 1896 and held its first graduation in 1897, only 23 years after the establishment of Bellevue's first nursing school. The first mention that I can find about our school pin is in the 1903 Hospital Annual Report, where a citation notes that the Women's Guild awarded pins to graduates. The design of our pin is most distinctive. It features the Red Cross. I have been told that we are one of very few nursing schools that were allowed to use this symbol in the design of their pin as by that time, the International Red Cross had adopted this feature to represent humanitarian aid. Prior to the adoption of the symbol of the Red Cross, on the battlefield, countries used different colors to denote medical services. Austria used a white flag, France a red flag, Spain a yellow flag, and other countries a black flag. This resulted in much confusion and harm to patients. The founders of the Red Cross wanted one single distinctive sign for use by all military medical and relief societies and decided upon a white armlet with a red cross in the middle. From there, the Red Cross, of course, developed other uses of this symbol. The center of our pen is circled by a laurel wreath, which was a common symbol after the Civil War to commemorate and honor the thousands of soldiers lost by the Union and the Confederacy. The color red symbolizes courage, energy, strength, passion, and love. The color white is symbolic of goodness, light, purity, safety, and cleanliness. The school's initials are highlighted in gold leaf, the color historically used to indicate balance in all things, illumination, and wisdom. Collectively, then, the colors of the BHSON pin symbolize global humanitarian aid, balance, honor, courage, and purity, quite a foundation on which to build your practice. I have always treasured my own nursing school pins. I have one for my diploma program that has a replica of the lamp of knowledge in the center, and my baccalaureate pin has USA in modern script in the center, which stands for the University of South Alabama, my alma mater. I hope your pen will be a source of pride and accomplishment for years to come. Today you are embarking on a professional journey, and I ask that you always remember that nursing is both an art and a science. 
Over the course of my career, the science of nursing has changed immensely. As a nursing student, I cared for patients with cataract extractions who were in bed for 10 days with their heads held in place by sandbags. New moms and their babies spent a full week in the hospital. Patients with stomach ulcers were treated with 30 cc's of cream and milk administered alternately every two hours. As you now know, nursing is an art. And it's an art because every plan of care must be individualized to your patient. And only the use of yourself as a therapeutic tool can accomplish this objective. In Nightingale's time, nurses help soldiers write home and send their army paychecks to their families. Today, we show evidence of the art of nursing every time we are fully present with a patient, whether virtually or face to face. An example of this presence is the positive evaluations that we receive from our homeward bound patients. The patients often remark about the tremendous positive impact the program has on their lives and specifically how wonderful our nursing students are and what a bright future they have. Nursing is a scientific discipline where our knowledge is evidence-based and dynamic. Nightingale advocated fresh air, nutritious broth soups, and careful attention to changes in the patient's condition. Today, our work has expanded greatly, and we now teach patients about the latest advances in medication and treatments to aid their healing. The landscape of healthcare is changing so rapidly that during the course of your career, you will need to stay vigilant to be on top of scientific breakthroughs while maintaining a caring presence for your patients. During the pandemic, all students in higher education experienced a disruption in their traditional education. As new RNs entering the profession, it is a unique time to practice your patient advocacy skills and knowledge of best practices to maintain the health of our communities and healthcare workers. Please know that we are all so proud of your accomplishments during this unprecedented and very difficult time and we'll be thinking of you as you negotiate your first RN positions. I encourage you to keep current in whatever area of practice that you choose. I also sincerely hope that every time you put on your beautiful BHSON pin, you will remember this moment and how proud you feel. I know that you will care for every patient to the best of your ability. I hope that the entire class returns to school for advanced nursing degrees and perhaps someday some of you may join us as BHSON instructors. Just saying. <laughs> Please keep in touch and let us know how you are doing. May you always remember and demonstrate the emphasis on safety and the we care values of Signature Healthcare. On behalf of everyone at the school, I wish you our heartiest congratulations, our best wishes for success on your state boards, and for a very rewarding career as a registered nurse. God bless you on your journeys. Okay, I think we've reached the time of the ceremony that everybody has been waiting for, right? The conferring of the pin, the diploma, and to those of you just honored the Fisher College degree as well. Congratulations from all of us here, and so, Please help me welcome to the stage and to the front of the stage, Dr. Susan Taylor, who will be helping with the nursing pin. Mr. Joseph Dreyer, who will be presenting the Brockton Hospital Diploma. And Mrs. Carol Wilcox, who will be presenting the Fisher College degree. second to get my act together here. I'm going to make sure I keep all of these pinning papers in the right order. Okay, if we could have the first row of graduates approach the stage, please. We will be happy to start off. If you could rise, please, and come towards the stage with your pinner if you have brought one special for you. And so, our first graduate, congratulations to Stephanie Almeida. Stephanie, <laughs> is, 
Stephanie is being pinned this afternoon by her father, Manuel Almeida. <laughs> Stephanie, if you'll now come towards me and up onto the stage, Mr. Dreyer is happy to pre present to you your Boston Hospital School of Nursing Diploma. And Stephanie, congratulations on graduating with honors. Congratulations to you. Right off the side to your left, Stephanie, if you don't mind. Perfect. Thank you. Next, congratulations to Jamie Ann Armington. Jamie is being pinned tonight by her husband, Anthony Gagney. Perfect. Jamie, come on up to the stage where you will receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. One of these times I'm going to say Dwyer, Joe, I'm sorry. Um, congratulations on graduating with honors. Our next graduate, con congratulations to Alicia Lynn Baker. Alicia is being pinned tonight by her mother, Patty Holt. Congratulations, Alicia. Please come to the stage where you'll receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Our next graduate, Jennifer Lynn Baldwin. <laughs> Jennifer is being pinned by her husband, Ryan Baldwin. And welcome to the stage, Jennifer, as you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer with honors. Okay, our next graduate, please, Marilyn B. Basil. Marilyn is being pinned tonight by her husband, David Basil. Marilyn, please come to the stage where you can be awarded your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And Marilyn is graduating tonight with honors. Congratulations. <laughs> and our next graduate, Brittany R. Bates. <laughs> Brittany is being pinned this evening by her grandmother, Phyllis Bates. Brittany, please come to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And Brittany is also graduating with honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next graduate is Kaylee Bell. Congratulations, Kaylee. She is being <laughs> Kaylee is being pinned by her father, Jeffrey Bell. Kaylee, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Our next graduate, please welcome Cheyenne Monique Brown. <laughs> Cheyenne is receiving her pin or is being pinned this evening by her sister-in-law, Madeline DePina, RN. <laughs> Cheyenne, welcome to the stage where you receive your um, diploma from Mr. Joseph Dryer. And Cheyenne, you'll see there that you are also the recipient of the BHSON Recognition Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheyenne has also received a Fisher College degree. Congratulations. <laughs> just a quick wor a word about that award that you just received. The um, BHSON Recognition Award is an annual award provided, providing a certificate to a graduating student who demonstrates outstanding contributions to the school, to their class, and to the National Student Nursing Association. Congratulations, Cheyenne. Please welcome our next graduate, Holly Nicole Broom. Holly is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Kimberly Broom. Holly, welcome.
welcome to the stage as you receive your diploma, graduating with high honors. Congratulations. Our next graduate, please congratulate Amanda G. Salucci. Amanda is being pinned this afternoon by her instructor, Dr. Patty Hensley. Amanda, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And Amanda is graduating with honors. Congratulations. Our next graduate this afternoon, Alicia Kaylee Shaws. Alicia is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Nancy Shots. And Alicia, please come to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Alicia is, is graduating this afternoon with honors. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Ashley Suzanne Cobb. Ashley is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Erin Kaw. <laughs> Ashley, please come to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Ray and Brad, Mr. Joseph Dwyer. And Ashley is the recipient, congratulations, of the Dr. William R. Known Memorial Award. Established by the Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital medical staff in memory of Dr. William Arnone, the annual memorial award provides a certificate to a graduating student who demonstrated excellence in pediatric nursing. Congratulations, Ashley. Okay, please welcome our next graduate, Denise Cora. Denise is being pinned by her husband, Jason Cora. Denise, welcome to the stage. Will you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer? And Denise is graduating with honors. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, William Lawrence Cucci. William is being pinned by his sister, Sarah Pucci. Welcome to the stage, William. Will you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer? Congratulations to our next graduate, Christina M. Covena. Christina is being pinned this afternoon by the Associate Dean, Dr. Susan Taylor. Christina, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations to our next graduate, Eugenie Darris. Jeannie is being pinned this afternoon by her aunt, Maud Selfin. <laughs> Eugenie, please join us on the stage where you will receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations. <laughs> please welcome our next graduate, Maria Rosalie DeMello.
Did, what did I say? <gasps> I did not. I am so sorry. No, it's not. <laughs> so let me do that again. Please welcome our next graduate, Mariah DeMelle. <laughs> Mariah is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Rosalie Ortiz. Ortiz. Mariah, please come to the stage and receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And again, my apologies. Please welcome our next graduate, Emily Sarah Doran. Emily is being pinned this afternoon by her boyfriend, Brian DeCenzo. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Emily. Will you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer? Emily's graduating this afternoon with honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Please welcome our next graduate, Jennifer Duplin. <laughs> Jennifer is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Mirtha Duplin. <laughs> Jennifer, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Ann Akuba Etch. Ann is being pinned this afternoon by her faculty, Dr. Patricia Hensley. And welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Jesslyn M. Foster. Jesslyn is being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Deanna Rutsu, who I understand. It says right here is her ray of sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations as you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. You're welcome. Please welcome our next graduate, Madison Lee Gagliardi. Madison is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Amy Gagliardi. <laughs> Madison, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome to the stage our next, gra next graduate, Jessica Janet Herman. I think Jessica's not with us this afternoon, so I can take that for you. Thank you. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Tanya, sorry, Tana Jean Johnson. <laughs> Tanner is being pinned this afternoon by her grandmother, Virginia Morgan RN. Tana, welcome to the stage where you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Batuli Dian Kwadi. Tuli is 
being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Mary Herbali. Patuli, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Sabrina LaFrance Pierre. Sabrina is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Delilah Pierre. And welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Megan Ann Blaper. <laughs> Megan is being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Deanna Ritzel. <laughs> Megan, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Lillian Elizabeth McNeil. Lillian is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Nicole McNeil. Lillian, welcome to the stage where you receive your nursing diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Ornella Berthile. Okay. Ornella is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Martine Moist. Ornella, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Haley Jean Newell. Haley is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Sarah Berlant. <laughs> Haley, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. <laughs> Please welcome our next graduate, Megan Harris. No harm. <laughs> Megan is being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Debbie St. Pierre. <laughs> Megan, welcome to the stage. You receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Lynette M. O'Hare. Congratulations, 
Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Patricia Winifred O'Neill. Patricia is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Ellen O'Neill. Patricia, Mr. Dreyer will come to you to present your diploma so that you can take good care of your mom there. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Jamie Lee Paiva. <laughs> Jamie is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Cheryl, and her daughter, Aviana. Jamie, please come to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Jonki Patel. Jonki is being pinned this afternoon by her significant other, Dr. Ustav. <laughs> Jonky, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer and your Fisher College degree from Mrs. Carol Wilcox. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Danielle Pisa. Danielle is being pinned this afternoon by her husband, Timothy Pisa. Danielle, please come to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Jo uh, Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Tiana Ariel Risotto Kennerson. being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Carol Berube. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Tiana, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. <laughs> Tiana is graduating this afternoon with honors and is the recipient of the National Student Nurses Association Award. Established by the National Student Nurse Association, the annual award provides money to graduating students who have shown consistent academic and clinical competence and who has been active in student activities. Recipients are recommended by the NSNA advisor. Congratulations, Tiana. Please welcome our next graduate, Kimberly Ann Roderick. Kimberly is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Kathy Bellagia. Kimberly, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Abigail Caroline Rue.
Abigail is being pinned this afternoon by her friend, Angela Desoglio. <laughs> Abigail, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And from uh, graduating with high honors, congratulations. Please receive your associate's degree from Mrs. Carol Wilcox, and congratulations on graduating from Fisher College with highest honors. And as I believe Carol mentioned before, Abigail is the recipient of the Fisher College Commencement Award. Again, congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Joanne Catherine Scuderi. <laughs> Joanne is being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Claudette Kistner. Joanne, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Megan Stanton. Megan is being pinned this afternoon by her father, Brian Stanton. Welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations on graduating with high honors. And Megan is the recipient of the Dr. Fred F. Weiner Memorial Award. Established by Dr. Alan D. Weiner and his family in memory of their father, Dr. Fred F. Weiner, the annual Memorial Award provides a pin to a graduating student who is academically and clinically qualified and has a great, great point average of 3.7 or higher. Congratulations, Michael. Please welcome the next graduate to the stage. Samantha Jean Swanson. I don't think that we have Samantha here with us tonight. So please welcome the next, next graduate to the stage, Casey May Thorbaugh. Casey is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Jana Thorbaugh. Casey, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Brittany Lynn Tonetto. Brittany is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Patricia Tanetta. <laughs> Brittany, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. J Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Sabrina Toussaint. <laughs> Sabrina is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Lori Jean Louis. Sabrina, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer.
Please welcome our next graduate, Erica Deanne Uriarty. Erica is being pinned this afternoon by a beautiful little girl and a handsome boy, and I'm sorry I don't have that paper in front of me. Who do we have with you here tonight? Ethan. Ethan and Viviana. Thank you, Ethan and Viviana. Nice job. <laughs> Erica has received her diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations, Erica. Please welcome our next graduate, Mia Claire Versaloni. Carol, would you join us, please, to pin Mia? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't hide from me, just saying. Mia is being pinned this afternoon by faculty member Carol Berube. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Mia, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with high honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Michaela Marie Vieira. Michaela is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Marinella Vieira. Welcome to the stage, Michaela, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, your degree from Fisher College from Carol Wilcox, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Alyssa Christine Vincola. Alyssa is being pinned this afternoon by her father, Mark Vincola. <laughs> Alyssa, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And congratulations on graduating with honors. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage our next graduate, Brittany Lee Walsh. I don't think Brittany could join us this afternoon, so please welcome our next, next graduate, Megan Elizabeth Ward. <laughs> Megan is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Betsy Ward. Welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations, Megan. And please welcome to the stage our next graduate, Courtney Marie Young. Courtney is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Teresa Young. Welcome to the stage, Courtney, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Day Division class of the year 2021 for the <laughs>
that nursing has to offer you. Thank you. I am so glad we were able to do this this afternoon. It may not be perfect, but it's way better than we thought we were going to be able to do. So thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We wish you well. We welcome you to exit to the right side of the tent. Thank you. It is now my pleasure and my honor to welcome our guest speaker tonight. Our next distinguished speaker is Mr. Kim Holland. Mr. Holland received his master's degree in hospital administration from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. He's devoted nearly five decades to effective hospital leadership, beginning his career as vice president at Baylor Health System. As chief executive officer and president of Signature Healthcare since 2010, Kim Holland has consistently pushed for improved safety for patients, providers, and staff in all aspects of Signature's culture. Under his leadership, Signature Healthcare has received straight A's in safety from LeapFrog since 2012. In 2020, it was ranked by the Lown Institute as the sixth best safety net hospital in the country and is the first facility in Massachusetts to be named a top teaching hospital four years in a row by LeapFrog. A true visionary leader of operational excellence and safety culture change, his leadership and guidance has been a strength throughout his tenure here, particularly during the challenging times of COVID-19. We are fortunate to have him with us this evening to share his insights with you. Please help me welcome Mr. Kim Holland. Good evening, graduates. This is the day you've been looking for for years. Congratulations and thank you for sticking with it during COVID. What a terrible time to decide you want to be a nurse. And I can't imagine um, believing for one minute that somebody in your circle of influence didn't ask you in the last year and a half, you still really want to do this? Um, tough time to become a nurse, but congratulations. Nurses are often at the heart of some of life's most memorable moments of heartache, anxiety, and joy. Nurses comfort us, they care for us, they teach us, they protect us, they advocate for us, they pray for us, they cheer us up. If we're lucky, they tell us a few jokes, and if we're even luckier, some of them will sing for us. As you enter this incredibly important and rewarding role, I'm mindful that I'm exiting health care and retiring as you're entering. Although it was not on my resume, I actually entered the healthcare field in 1976 or 77, wearing white, looked a lot like you, with my white shoes and my white outfit, and they called me an orderly back then, and they let me do things they'd probably put me in jail for now. Um, and I didn't get any training to do it either, other than the other orderly showing me how to take care of a turp and how to insert a foley on a turp that had come out. And I was like, you shouldn't be doing that. I understand that now. But I've developed a tremendous respect for nurses working with them on the unit for their education, for their diligence, for their compassion, for their empathy, for their humility, for their stamina, for their strength. And I have never lost uh, my view of nursing having been able to, in my career, spend three years uh, watching uh, quietly and working with them as an orderly. And as I thought about what I wanted to say, I could have talked about what they typically say at graduations, about how the world is open to you, and how the world of nursing opens a tremendous number of doors inside of nursing as well as other careers, but I couldn't help but think about COVID and decided I want to talk about burnout uh, because I can't imagine a more stressful time of working in healthcare than the last year and a half. Um, and I keep, kept coming back to a song that was sung by Bonnie Raitt, a song of John Prine, sort of worked my comments around John's song. And the song was about a woman who wanted to be important and wanted to do something different and wanted to be somebody. And you may know the song, sung by, by Bonnie. Some of the refrain goes, make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. 
Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold on to. She would have been happy just being a poster of an old rodeo. Well, I was thinking about that and couldn't help but think of my father, who is 96, about to turn 97 in a couple of weeks. And he was in Alabama, uh, going from just south of Birmingham to just north of Mobile. Montgomery is halfway in between. Uh, Shirley, his wife, had a medical issue and they had to pull off the interstate. She was driving um, and uh, losing consciousness. He had to reach over and turn off the cruise control and get the car over to the side. They called an ambulance. They took her to a hospital in Montgomery. And this was during the no visitor time of COVID. So dad at 96 is in the winter, can't get into the hospital, have to stay out in the car. His wife's in the hospital and it's clear as the day goes on, she's not going home that day. And he can't drive after dark and they won't let him in the hospital. And it's not probably a great idea for a 96 year old to spend the night in the car. Um, and I was calling sometime around six or seven o'clock and dad gave me the, dad gave the phone to a nurse that was standing in front of him who had heard about his story and had recruited a nursing friend. And the two of them were telling him, we're taking you to a local hotel. We're gonna get you food. He also was a diabetic and needed food by then. We're gonna get you settled and we're gonna take care of you. And I thought, never have I heard a better story for angels from Montgomery than that one. And I'm reminded of the empathy of nurses has no bounds. That nurses will find situations and walk into them and take care of people in ways that put themselves at risk possibly, but they do just incredible things. And I believe that takes a toll on nurses over time, which is why I wanted to talk a bit about stress. But John Prime's song goes on to say, if you know that song, to believe in this living is a hard way to go. And I can promise you that although you will be rewarded and, and love the fact that you have such an impact on families and on your patients, there will be times in your career that you hum the words, to believe in this living is just a hard way to go. If you look at the research, there's some that would say two thirds of nurses in hospitals experience some form of burnout. I don't know what the right number is, but I do know that nurses work really long hours. I know they suffer from chronic lack of adequate sleep. I know nurses work under the stress of caring for high-risk patients. I know that nurses experience the emotions, ups and downs of their patients and their family members. I've known a lot of nurses who just don't seem to take time to take care of themselves. I've known some nurses who believe that they just can put stress aside and it will somehow magically go away. I believe as an employer of nurses, we have a responsibility to try to eliminate as much burnout as we can, but I don't think as a nurse you can count on employers. And I know a bit about stress. There's similar research about CEOs that would say two thirds of CEOs experience some form of burnout. In my own 44, 45 years of working in healthcare, I would say there's something about stress and healthcare like go hand in hand. Working in healthcare is stressful. And can we learn to manage stress better? Well, I thought I would share some of my own story with you, not because I think that what works for you is what worked for me. I can't know what will work for you. But what I hope you will, you will take from my comments is that working on your stress and taking care of yourself is a part of your job. And you will not do as good a job as a nurse unless you take care of yourself. And take care of being, taking care of yourself, frankly, isn't easy. For me, I learned through not taking care of myself. I had to admit to myself I wasn't great at recognizing stress, and I really wasn't great at recognizing the accumulation of stress. And I wasn't so great at following commitments to do something about it either. And I think I learned through trial and error of bumps in the road for what worked for me and what didn't work for me. In general, I learned that when I maintained my skills, I had less stress. When I dieted and exercised, I had less stress. And when I took care of my mental health, I had less stress. And I'll share some of the things that I think 
worked for me. For one, when I finished graduate school and was sitting in the chair looking up at the person speaking, I can tell you the last thing I wanted to do was read anything about healthcare. And I probably went on a three-year hiatus. I finally learned I had less stress if I thought I was at the top of my game as an administrator. And I think you too at some point will know you're at the top of your game as a nurse when you stay in your field and stay educated and stay up with it. And I spent as much time away from the building studying as I did in the building because I believe that was my responsibility to the patients and to the staff in our organization. I found better ways to manage my physical and mental health, but I can tell you it only took through crisis that I honestly did that. My dad had, who's 96, had open heart surgery when he was in his late 50s. That didn't scare me. It was only when his younger brother had open heart surgery that I decided, okay, sounds really familial. Maybe I should do something about diet and exercise. I never have been a big person, but I never had exercised as much as I did through that period of time. And then I had children, and I wanted to be active and involved in their lives, and I was also the president of a hospital at the time. So I ran to their practices. If they had soccer practices, I ran around the field during soccer practice, and they would point me out and laugh at me. I ran sometimes at nine o'clock at night because the kids had gone to bed. I had read to them and it was a time I could take care of myself. And I decided over time, or at least learned for me, my issues about not following through with exercise were more about lack of creativity than it was about the exercise. And then I thought I'd had a really good diet until maybe the last four or five years ago when my physician told me I was going to have to take a statin because I was now over 60 something years old and I was qualifying in for statins for the rest of my life and I decided I was going to give one more try to diet and read probably a dozen books on diet, exercise and sleep. Came out of that not a vegan but I did come out of that with a different diet and staying away from some foods that I had before and once again, I would say I had to have something I didn't like the answer to, statins, before I decided I was going to make a personal change that I thought was good for me. During one of those periods of my life that was a trial, I was running a 500-bed hospital with about 5,000 employees, and we were losing a million dollars a month. And uh, one morning, when I was crying during breakfast, because I realized for the first time in probably a year and a half, I had tasted breakfast. It was another wake-up call for me, and I got serious about, okay, how do you take care of your mental health? And I talked to a chaplain colleague of mine who had me start journaling. Well, and I'd say I still didn't get it right. For one, I wouldn't journal consistently, and two, I journaled about things that bugged me. And I would journal about things that bugged me right before I went to bed, so I'd wake up in the middle of the night thinking about what I was writing about right before I went to bed. About seven or eight years ago, I read about some research that Duke University has been doing with their medical residents about journaling, and they found that having a gratitude journal seemed to reduce stress. So I started a gratitude journal. Every evening, I find three things that I'm grateful for. It has, over the last 10 years, reoriented me during the day to look for something that I'm grateful for because I got a journal about it tonight. I've also found that I'm less likely to wake up in the middle of the night stewing about something because I went to bed thinking about something I was grateful for and it has helped with my sleep. And I've found that uh, gratitude journal, diet and exercise all seem to work together for me at least to help manage those issues for me. But I tell you the hardest lesson I think I've learned is how to manage my habits and commitments. One of the things I learned about my own de-stressors was to get away from healthcare for some period of time, whether that was music or to get out of the building and to go eat with my wife or go to a concert. And on Friday and Saturday, I was often tired and the last thing I wanted to do was go drive in the traffic and go to a concert. So I would have these great ideas and I would say, let's do this and let's do that. And when the time would come, I would say, I really got a bunch of emails I got to do, and I got a, probably 15 hours worth of work for the weekend, and I'm just not interested. And I noticed once that the only time I ever followed my own commitments was when I had spent 20 bucks to buy a ticket, and I was too cheap not to go. 
because I had prepaid for the ticket. And so once I sort of discovered that of myself, I, for years now, we go six months out, we find something to do, we prepay for it because we both know I'm too cheap not to do it. <laughs> um, and for me, that works. I don't know what will work for you, but for that, for me, that works. And the last thing I learned was about meditation and a way to meditate and a way to learn through biofeedback. And I ran across a company called HeartMath that in the 1990s was doing some research about appreciative meditation. And they learned that your beat-to-beat -beat heart rate variability, so it goes up and it goes down in a herky-jerky kind of way, your beat-to-beat -beat heart rate variability settles down in a coherent pattern if you think of an appreciative thought and you meditate simultaneously. And then they went and started studying cortisol and DHEA and found out that through appreciative meditation that people's cortisol levels go down and their DHEA levels go up. And I got interested in appreciative meditation and biofeedback. And I taught appreciative medication and biofeedback at a hospital I was at in Dallas for a long time and learned how to do it on the fly. And during meetings, I am known to settle down. I didn't know people knew I did it. Um, but I'm known to settle down and start appreciative breathing and appreciative meditation during the middle of the day. It opens me up. I manage my stress better. And I think I am a better administrator over time, less prone to um, what I would say emotionally not be centered, or you might say be angry and yell at people. Uh, which is like not my style for the people that know me, but it's not necessarily where I used to be 20 years ago. So I don't know what's going to work for you. I don't know how to know what's going to work for you, but I can almost guarantee two-thirds of you are going to experience forms of burnout during your career. And I would say to you, I hope you'll take care for yourself as serious as you have taken school, and as serious as you will take your job and your role, and you'll know better than I did when stress is building up, and you'll do a better job than I have done in my career managing your self-care, because it's really important. It's going to make you a better nurse. It's certainly going to make you a better spouse, and it's going to make you a better family member, but I believe it's going to make you a better nurse. And as a nurse, I believe you'll do it because you know it's may going to make you a better nurse, probably more so than helping other people. You've proven through the past year you can climb this mountain of knowledge. You've proven through the past year you have the diligence and ability to bear down and be successful. My hope and prayer for you is that you're going to enjoy the rest of this life's journey you've chosen for yourself. That you're going to know and you're going to experience you have made a difference for your patients, you've made a difference for your community, and you've made a difference for the world. And I hope you're blessed on your journey. Godspeed. sharing your words of wisdom, certainly something that all of us can benefit from. Okay, please welcome next to the stage our next distinguished speaker with some lovely music in the background for her, <laughs> the valedictorian of the Brockton Hospital School of Nursing Class of 2021. Please join me in welcoming Megan Stanton. Dean Goiva, Associate Dean Dr. Taylor, Signature Healthcare Executives, Brockton Hospital School of Nursing faculty, administrators, family, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. I welcome you all to join us in celebrating the achievements of the Brockton Hospital School of Nursing class of 2021. My name is Megan Stanton. To all of you who have helped re me reach this milestone, thank you. I am so grateful, blessed, and honored to be standing here before you all. If you have asked me 10 years ago, I could never have imagined to be where I am today, graduating nursing school in the top half of our class. I did not believe it was in my future because of the many detours which crossed my path in years prior. We create a perfect plan in our heads, 
of what we want and how our futures are supposed to be. We think we know exactly where, when, and how our lives will unravel. But reality is, it does not always play out how we envision. Personally, I had a negative attitude and constantly told myself I could not do it. I am not good enough. I compared myself to those around me who were achieving their goals, or so I thought, and I felt that I was behind where I should be in life. You go to high school, everyone talks about college, and the pressure to know what you want to do, but how can you be expected to plan your future at 18 years old? How do you know what you want when you have taken the same courses day after day without any exposure to the outside world? You have people constantly telling you to go to college, graduate, get your first job, fall in love, get married, buy a house, have babies, and be well-to-do within a few short years of graduating. But whose plan is that? Is it a realistic plan or a fairy tale? For most, not all, the latter. If we lived by this preconceived notion, we would all be the same. There would be no diversity, no lessons learned, or more so, different paths travel to find out who we truly are. I dwelled on this perception of a perfect life, and it was frustrating when I found myself going backwards instead of forwards. Once I started to focus on myself, I was able to turn my negative energy into positive. I decided it was okay to do things I truly wanted to, and to involve myself with things that made me happy. This is when I decided to pursue my dream job of becoming a nurse and how I ended up at Brockton Hospital School of Nursing. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, or how old you are. It is only about what makes you happy. Things in my life started to turn around once I became more of a positive person. My self-esteem began to blossom, I lost the negative attitude, and I changed the I can't into I can and I will. My thoughts and daily beliefs transformed into gratitude, positivity, and happiness. Now, I look back and laugh at myself. Did I really believe that everything in life falls into place with no hiccups? I'm glad for those bumps in the road because if they did not happen, I would not be where I am today. This is important and may be very relatable to all. Cliche, but what is meant for you will be. And remember, never compare your journey. You are just where you need to be. The reality is there is a greater plan already set for us. Every path you travel is bringing you to where you need to be. We are all meant to be sitting right where we are at this exact moment. Commencement 2021. Flashback to August 2019 when we were sitting in class on day one of fundamentals. Dr. Taylor came into our class and welcomed us to Brockton Hospital School of Nursing. Before leaving the room, Dr. Taylor asked that we turn to our neighbor and state out loud, I'll see you at graduation. We all chuckled, but did as we were told. The words echoed across the basement classroom of the old School of Nursing building, I'll see you at graduation. So with more confidence and a louder echo, let's all turn to our neighbors and say loud and proud, we did it. <laughs> We could not have made it without the encouragement, support, and determination of the faculty, staff, and administrators of both the School of Nursing and Brockton Hospital. Although COVID-19 threw a curveball at the entire world, nothing was going to stop Brockton Hospital School of Nursing from guaranteeing that we are the next generation of nurses. Together as a team, we have worked diligently, tirelessly, and effortlessly to ensure we graduate on time while receiving the best education possible. During COVID, faculty and staff quickly transitioned all courses to an online platform, executed a clinical simulation online, and offered office hours seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Faculty, staff, and all those involved in Brockton Hospital's nursing program have gone above and beyond to help us succeed in our academic pursuit. It speaks volume about our faculty and staff here at Brockton Hospital. It is truly a testament to the faculty's perseverance to help us be successful. We all have nothing but the utmost respect and admiration for these individuals. They have paved the way for us, showing us, the class of 2021, how to be the next generation of nurses. So with that, what are you going to do to make a difference? How are you going to pave the way for the future? Today, I would like to leave you with this. We have persevered through nursing school during a pandemic. There's nothing that can stop us. 
Take all that you have learned from each path you have traveled and use it to better yourself. Treat each patient with dignity and respect just as you would want to be treated. Live in the moment, be present, advocate for your patients, make a difference, leave a mark. We have established our foundation as soon to be nurses. Now let's go make a difference one patient at a time. As Florence Nightingale once said, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all of our lives. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey. Thank you, Megan, for those nice words of insight. Okay, as we transition to our next part of the program, it is my honor to welcome to the stage the president of Fisher College. Fisher College is a valued partner in education with Brockton Hospital School of Nursing, and so it is my honor and privilege to welcome Mr. Stephen Rich, president of Fisher College. Good evening, faculty, staff, graduates, family, and friends. It is my pleasure to be here this evening to represent Fisher College. I would like, I would like to offer my congratulations to the class of 2021 from the entire Fisher community. Fisher College has been a long and valued, had a long and valued relationship with the Brockton Hospital School of Nursing. I think it's been almost 30 years. And we are proud and privileged to be part of your education. Not only have, we received, have you received a quality education, but an important one, particularly during this year. We all realize that. Uh, we wish you all the best as you begin this noble profession. Now it is, it is time for us to recognize the students who have earned an associate's degree from Fisher College. Please welcome our program director and faculty member, Carol Wilcox, who, as you all know, is deeply committed to your education and success. Carol will assist me in conferring the Fisher College Associate's Degrees. I look forward to seeing many of you at Fisher College commencements in, futures at, in future years as you earn your iron to BSM degree. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, President Rich. Good evening, congratulations. We are so excited for you and we are so proud of you. It is my privilege to present the candidates for the Associate in Science degree to President Rich, who will confer the degree. The Fisher College degrees will be presented following the pinning in the awarding of the diploma in nursing. Will the candidates for the Fisher College Associate in Science degree please rise? President Rich, I am pleased to present these candidates who have qualified in all respects for the Associate in Science degree. I certify that the students standing before you have completed their program requirements and are now presented to you to be awarded the degree. I therefore recommend that you confer upon them the Associate in Science degree. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fisher College and by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I hereby confer upon you the degree Associates in Science. Welcome to the Society of Learned Men and Women with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities therein. As Steve said, we've reached the part where you've all been waiting for and you have worked so hard to earn a seat right here with a smile on your face. And so I'd like to welcome to the stage and to our pinning area, first Dr. Susan Taylor to help with the pinning. Also Mr. Joseph Dreyer, who will be handing the um, Brockton Hospital School of Nursing diplomas. As well as Mrs. Carol Wilcox, who will be handing the Fisher College Associate in Science degrees. Okay, please help me to welcome our first graduate, Caitlin Elizabeth Allen. Caitlin is receiving her diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer 
and she is coming down to the pinning area. Caitlin is being pinned. Could you be joined, please, by her sister? Caitlin is being pinned this evening by her sister, Jill Allen. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate. And if the graduates could please go to the pinning area first, that would be fantastic. And if you could bring your pinner with you, that would be awesome. Our next graduate, please, Christopher Joseph Amaral. Chris is being pinned this evening by faculty member Mary Herbali. Chris, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma for Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations on graduating with high honors. And Chris is also the recipient of the Dr. Joseph Berkowitz Memorial Award. Congratulations. The Dr. Joseph Berkowitz Memorial Award was established in memory of Dr. Joseph Berkowitz. The annual Memorial Award provides a certificate to a graduating student who is academically and clinically qualified and has a grade point average of 3.3 or higher. Congratulations again, Chris. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Allison Nicole Apjohn. I think perhaps Allison can join us this evening. And so, please welcome our next, next graduate to the stage, Julia Marie Aranjo. <laughs> Julia is being pinned this evening by her mother, Allison Aranjo. <laughs> Julia, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations on graduating with honors. And Julia is also the um, recipient of the National Student Nurses Association Award. The National Student, Student Nurse Association Award was established by the National Student Nurse Association. The annual award provides money to graduating student from the program who has shown consistent academic and clinical competence and who has been active in student activities. The recipient is recommended by the NSNA advisor. Congratulations, Julia. Please welcome our next graduate, Rosa Carosa Barras. Rosa is being pinned this afternoon by her mother, Maria Fernandez. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Rosa, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Congratulations, Rosa, on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Jacob A. Beauregard. Jacob is, Jacob is being pinned this evening by Dr. Susan Taylor. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Jacob, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please help me welcome our next graduate, Jessica Lee Bono. Jesper is being pinned this evening by her husband, Joe Bonner. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Jessica, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please help me welcome our next graduate to the stage. Sierra Lee Botello. <laughs> Sierra 
Theater is being pinned this afternoon by Carol Berube, nursing faculty. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Sierra. Congratulations on receiving your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer and on graduating with honors. Please help me welcome our next graduate, Courtney E. Brown. Courtney is being pinned this evening by her mother, Kathy Brown. Welcome to the stage, Courtney, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Casey Carol Connors. Casey is being pinned this evening by her father, Brian Connors. Welcome to the stage, Casey, on receiving your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Sorry, I'm just reading how to pronounce it correctly, and I'm not sure I can get it, so let me help, let me try it. Mayor? It's Mari. Mari, I'm sorry. You wrote me instructions, and I still couldn't do it, so hold on, hold on for one second. Please welcome to the stage our next graduate, Mari Kate Daly. <laughs> Mari is being pinned this evening by her friend, Lisa McDonald. <laughs> Mari, welcome to the stage and you receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And my apologies. Please welcome our next graduate, Jennifer Anna Darling. <laughs> Jennifer is being pinned this evening by her mother, Linda Darling. <laughs> welcome to the stage, Jennifer, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Ellen Delano. Thank you. Ellen is being pinned this evening by nursing faculty, Carol Berube. Ellen, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Sarah Rose Dennis. Sarah is being pinned this evening by her mother, Christine Dennis. Sarah, welcome to the stage to receive your nursing diploma, graduating with honors, your Fisher College degree, graduating with high honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Please welcome our next graduate, Kiana Sierra Tapina. Honor is being pinned this evening by her mother, Melinda DePina. <laughs> Kiana, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors.
Please welcome our next graduate, Jake Ryan Drakakis. Jake is being pinned this evening by Dr. Susan Taylor. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Jake, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Carrie Ann Fish. <laughs> Carrie is being pinned this evening by our instructor, Kara Garubi. <laughs> Carrie, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Ashley Ann Fuentes Rivera. <laughs> Ashley is being pinned by her nursing instructor, Carol Barubi. <laughs> Ashley, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Shailen Karen Gagnon. I'm not sure Shailen could be with us this evening, so welcome our next next graduate, Evelyn Ruby Garcia. <laughs> Evelyn is being pinned this evening by her son, Antonio Rodriguez. Everyone, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Olivia Catherine Grant. Olivia is being pinned this evening by her clinical instructor, Cheryl Thompson. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Olivia, and congratulations. Here's your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with high honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Alyssa Olivia Hernandez. <laughs> Alyssa is being pinned this evening by her grandmother, Rhoda Christmas Senor. Welcome to the stage, Alyssa, and receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please help me welcome our next graduate, Mark Hamilton Harrington. Mark is being pinned this evening by his wife, Lisa Harrington. <laughs> Mark, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with high honors. Please help me welcome our next graduate, Kayla Marie Jabot. I think Kayla is not with us this evening, so we will move on to our next next graduate, Florette 
Sharma Jean. Florette, is it Jean or Jean? Jean. Jean. Okay. Florette is being pinned this evening by her mother, Maurice Jean. Florette, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, McConan H. Johnson. by Mrs. Lisa Willett Wiffen, nursing faculty. <laughs> Welcome, McConan, and thank you for receiving your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. McConan is also the recipient of the BHSON Recognition Award. The BHSON Recognition Award provides a certificate to a graduating student who demonstrates outstanding contributions to the school, their class, and to the nurse National Student Nursing Association. Congratulations. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm sorry, too many papers. Okay, um, please welcome our next graduate, Nicole Olivia Kemp. <laughs> I think Nicole is not able to be with us this evening. So our next graduate then, please. Heather Adele Kerrigan. <laughs> Heather is being pinned this evening by nursing faculty Patricia Hensley. <laughs> Heather, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, graduating with honors and your official degree from Mrs. Carol Wilcox, graduating with high honors. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Kelsey Marie King. Kelsey is being pinned this evening by her mother, Debbie Frank. Welcome to the stage, Kelsey, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next, next graduate, Anya Francis Hoos. being pinned this evening by your mother, Geraldine Coos. <laughs> and you're welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. <laughs> Please welcome our next graduate, Brian A. Lanwet. Brian is being pinned this evening by his husband, Brian Costa. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Brian. Congratulations on receiving your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Veronica Grace Levitt. Veronica is 
being pinned this evening by her mother, Debbie Levitt. Welcome to the stage, Veronica, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Dawn Michelle Mannion. Dawn is being pinned this evening by her daughter, Brittany Glory. Welcome to the stage, Dawn, to receive your diploma, as well as your degree from Fisher College. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Allison Deborah Marr. Allison is being pinned this evening by her mother, Carol Marr. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Allison, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Alexis Page Medeiros. It is my honor to put to pin with Alexis this afternoon. graduating from Fisher College with high honors. Congratulations. Please welcome our next graduate, Ajibola Oliphant Otsami. Ajibola is bringing with her her pinner, Dr. Patty Hensley, nursing faculty. Dr. <laughs> Bola, don't forget to come to the stage, please. <laughs> you can go home with Patty later on, but right now. <laughs> please accept your diploma and congratulations. Congratulations, with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Samuel Pyers. The shy Samuel is being pinned by his sister, Marina George. And welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Kimberly Easy. Kimberly is being pinned this evening by nursing faculty Mary Herbawi.
Kimberly, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma for Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with high honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Andrew John Rodriguez. Andrew is being pinned this evening by his mother, Lisa Bataglina. And you're welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Sydney O. Silva. Sydney's being pinned this evening by her mother, Lori Terrian. Welcome to the stage, Sydney, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Teresa Jane Silva. <laughs> Teresa is being pinned this evening by her father, Edward Silva. Welcome to the stage, Teresa. Congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Ashley Rebecca Sola. Take your time, we're all good. <laughs> Ashley is being pinned this evening by her friend, Patty Timmons. <laughs> Ashley, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Sarah G. St. Hilaire. Sarah's being pinned this evening by her significant other, Scott King. Welcome to the stage, received your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Brandon Sullivan. I think maybe Brandon couldn't be with us this evening, so please welcome our next graduate, Kaylee D. Sullivan. <laughs> Kaylee's being pinned this evening by her mother, Carrie Keller. Kaylee, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Jo Joseph Dreyer. Please welcome our next graduate, Courtney Nicole Sullivan. Courtney is being pinned this evening by her mother, Tracy Tassinari. <laughs> Courtney, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. 
and congratulations on graduating with honors. Please welcome our next graduate, Tina Marie Thomas. Tina is being pinned this evening by her mother, Marie Thomas. Welcome to the stage, Tina. Accept your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations to you. Please welcome our next graduate, Nicole Lee Todd. Nicole is being pinned this evening by her clinical instructor from her freshman year, Mrs. Kim Spatola. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Nicole, to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer. And please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Kristen Lynn Vasconcelos. <laughs> Kristen is being pinned this afternoon, this evening, by nursing instructor Carol Barubi. Kristen, welcome to the stage to receive your diploma from Mr. Joseph Dreyer, and congratulations on graduating with honors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud to present to you the class, the Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital School of Nursing, 2021. <laughs> 